Using a controller, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, or even the Steam Deck with Minecraft Java Edition. Is it even possible? Well, as much as I wish you could just plug this in and start playing Minecraft Java Edition, Java Edition does not have native controller support. Right now, you've got to use mods, specifically mods like Controllable. Now, this is the mod that we're going to be installing in this video. The reason being is Controllable is for Forge. Forge is still the most popular mod loader, but I'm not ignorant of the fact that there are other mod loaders out there, specifically Fabric and Quilt. If that means nothing to you, just go ahead and press forward once on your keyboard and you'll skip this little section. But for those of you who do want a Fabric or Quilt option, Midnight Controls is amazing. It is linked in the description down below. It has a lot of the same, if not all the same features as Controllable, but it is for Fabric and Quilt. So you've got either of these to use if you want to use Midnight Controls. Here it is. If you want to use Forge, controllable here it is nevertheless though for those of you who just want to get a controller working with minecraft java edition let's do it first things first you want to go to this link it's the second link in the description down below it will take you here this is the download page for the controllable mod and once you're here what you want to do is go ahead and click on this files button this will take us to where we can see all of the controllable files for minecraft and what we want to do is make sure we're downloading the 1.20.1 version for me, it's this one right here. Depending on when you're watching this video, you may have to look down a ways, but most likely it's near the top. Click the three dots on the right-hand side and click download file. The download then begin after a few seconds, but this isn't the only thing we need to download. We also need to download framework. This is a compatibility mod. Think of it like this. It's required in order for controllable to work with Minecraft. By the way, you may need to keep or save any of these files that we download today. It's 100% safe to do that as long as the file name is correct. For example, it should say controllable, framework, or forge, depending on what you're downloading. Nevertheless, we have framework here. Same sort of process. Click on files. Make sure you're finding the 1.20.1 version. Mine's not at the top. It's actually right down here. Click on the three dots and then click download file. Once this is downloaded, you'll need to keep or save it. While it's downloading though, how about a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown of XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily install mods like Controllable or any other Minecraft mods you want. But if you want mod packs, we've got a super easy to use mod pack installer that allows you to get mod packs in just one click. And on top of all of that, if you want to add plugins or just run a vanilla server, you can do either of those as well. You can customize your server however you want it. And if you've got any issues along the way we have an amazing help center to help you out alongside live chat support so go check out simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to xyz slash sgh and start hosting your minecraft server the simple way nevertheless here we are we have gotten framework downloaded we also need to download one more thing then we're done downloading and that is forge forge is the mod loader that allows controllable and other minecraft mods like it to work with minecraft think about this it sits in between your mods and minecraft and lets them talk to each other we have this in-depth guide to forge in the description below we're gonna go over the basics in this video but if you want to go over everything go as in-depth as possible that's what this guide is for it's also here if you have any issues we've got some different troubleshooting issues that you may run into specifically these error code or exit codes that you may run into nevertheless Let's go ahead and click on the Download Forge button here to be taken to Forge's official download page. Now, this video is for 1.20.1, so we want to make sure that we're selecting that on the left-hand side. So, click 1.20 and then select 1.20.1. Then, once you see 1.20.1 here, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. Now, take it to Add Focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page. Just wait about 10 seconds. Put your hand in the air. Wait about 10 seconds. And then, after about 10 seconds, you want to see this red skip button in the top right. The only thing you want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right. And when you click on it in the bottom left forge will begin downloading meaning to keep or save this file depending on your browser nevertheless once you've got forge downloaded here what you want to do is go ahead and minimize your browser now let's move forge and our controller mod to the desktop it's going to be most likely in your downloads folder so click the little windows icon to the top left of my screen probably in the bottom left or bottom center of your screen if you're all on windows 11 go ahead and type in downloads you have this downloads file folder here and in here we have forge we have controllable and we have framework Move these to your desktop, and don't worry, they won't live here forever. Nevertheless, we had to start off by getting Forge installed. To do this, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, you need to download it, specifically Java 17, and there's a guide in the description that goes over everything. You need to know to download and install Java 17. This covers it all, even issues you may have along the way. You may also need to run the jar fix, and what this is going to do is link all the files on your computer back to Java, but only run the jar fix after you got Java 17. 
Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on that open with option, click on Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the mod system installer for Forge here, where all you've got to do is click on install client and click OK. Now, the only reason that this won't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. If either of those are open, close out of both of them, come back and you'll be good to go. However, if you're still having an issue, you probably need to play Minecraft 1.20.1. I know a lot of people, even for accessibility reasons, they have to use a controller to play Minecraft. Go ahead, just open up Minecraft in the main menu. Just go into the launcher, click play on Minecraft 1.20.1, let it download, let it open to the main menu, close out of it, then you can install the controllable mod and start using the controller from there. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and, as you can see, successfully install Client Profile Forge. Click OK, we'll close out of that. You can delete Forge from your desktop now. Let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to open Minecraft with Forge, right? So what we want to do is go ahead and make sure we're launching Minecraft with that Forge installation. Now, you may have the Forge installation already selected. For me, it is Forge 1.20.1. If this is you, click play, click play again. If that's not you, though, make sure you can't select it from the drop-down box, and if you still don't see it, click on Installations. Then, make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if I uncheck modded there, it disappears. If I check modded, boom, Forge is back. But if you still don't have Forge here, click a new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the best way to start your very own Minecraft server with mods, plugins, mod packs, or vanilla, whatever you are looking for. And then we want to click the version drop-down box and select release 1.20.1-forge right here. Once you've got your version selected, we want to also change our resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing that so you can see once we get in-game. The most important part of this is that Forge is selected and mine's at the top, you may need to scroll down to find yours. Go ahead and click create. We now have this simplegamehosting.com profile with 1.20.1-Forge under it. Most importantly, hover over it, click play, click play again to confirm we're playing mod in Minecraft, and now Minecraft's going to open up. That's the hard part. The hardest part is getting Minecraft open with Forge. From here, all you've got to do is literally drag and drop your mods in. That's it. So we'll meet you on the main menu to really get these mods installed and show you the easy part. So in Minecraft, you can see we have Forge here in the bottom left. That's the indication Forge is installed. We also have this mods button, and that's what you actually want to click on the Minecraft main menu is the mods button. In here, you'll find any mods that you add to Minecraft, but right now we've not added anything, so we don't have any except Minecraft and Forge itself. What you want to do from here, though, is click on the Open Mods folder in the bottom left. When you click on this Open Mods folder button, it's going to open up your Mods folder. Then, all you've got to do is drag and drop Controllable and Framework into your Mods folder. It's that simple to get a controller mod added and add controller support to Minecraft. From there, you want to go ahead and close out of the mods folder, and you want to close out of Minecraft. So click done and quit the game. We then want to open up Minecraft again, making sure we're playing with that Forge installation, right? We want to make sure we're launching Minecraft, launching Forge with the Forge installation, because otherwise your mods won't work. Any mods you add need the Forge installation to work. That's why we've always got to play Minecraft with our Forge profile or installation, whatever you want to call it. For us, that's called Simple Game Hosting. For you, it could just be this Forge profile here, but nonetheless, click play, click play to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and now Minecraft will open up with the controller mod installed. I'm going to go ahead, plug my controller in, and I will show you what it looks like. This should be plug and play but if you do have any issues there is documentation on the page that we were looking at at the beginning of this video the download page for controllable that will help you with any potential issues now for me this is just going to work as you can see let's go ahead and move into minecraft and we will be able to see that i can move around here this is my cursor now this little like sort of square thing so if we go into the mods folder we'll be able to see right over here is controllable this will work on minecraft servers which is absolutely awesome so if we go into multiplayer here we can join into our simple game hosting server this isn't a modded server this is a vanilla server maybe it even has plugins on it but this mod works perfectly i can see that my you know settings and my fov is a little wrong so i can go into options and i can change that and in options you'll actually notice we have this little controller icon so we can click on that and you can see what this is i'm using an xbox one controller you can come in here and you can change settings and you can even change your key binding so if you want to set things custom you can by default it's very similar to minecraft bedrock so it's probably going to be familiar but you can change this to anything you want which is really really cool nevertheless i'm now playing minecraft java edition using a controller i can double tap forward the stick i can press a to jump i can use the bumpers to switch what i have in my inventory and i can click with right trigger to attack and obviously i think it is going to be uh left click would place a block as well if i had one so we take this and get a block 
Oh, B removes blocks, my bad. And sure enough, left trigger places a block and right trigger breaks blocks. So there you have it. That's how you can add in a controller. It feels exactly like Bedrock Edition to Java Edition. What's cool is this works with mods, just enough items. Optifine shaders, any of that will work with controllable. Just add them into that Forge mods folder and you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad I can help you use a controller with Minecraft Java Edition. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give you a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.